Hello YouTube, one more time. On today's video, um, we're gonna be working on this PowerPro 3. Uh, I have had this unit for the past six years. This is the original 3, it's not a new version. Unfortunately for us uh, on the field, it's becoming hard to, you know, get a reliable tester. The new 3 is good, it's great, but I think this one was one of the best ever made. Anyways, on today's video, we're gonna see how to take it apart. If you guys are interested to fix your own, so you remove this uh, tip, and then you have to remove this internal part right here. Um, I achieved that by using some, you know, pliers to turn it. You gotta be cautious not to scratch the surface. You can achieve that also by trying to turn it with your, um, Power Pro tip, once you loosen that uh, inner insert, like so. Okay, so this is treaded like on the old uh, Power Pros. So we go ahead and then I'm just gonna show you. It's a brass piece. I didn't scratch it much. It's just a tiny bit. Anyways, let's move forward. Then we're gonna go ahead and just take out this piece, pull forward. This is the thing that's holding everything together. It's got two pins inside, as you can see here. And so this one sits into that position, holding the whole assembly together. All right, let's move forward. I'm gonna go ahead and be careful not to pull on anything, any wires or anything for that matter all the electronics are there the problem with mine it was a simple uh thing my power probe has been working great ever since i bought it i try to take care of my tools as much as i can but obviously due to the nature of our business we we tend to sometimes drop it or sometimes you know abuse the tools a little bit i forgot to mention you can pray it off this switch by using a pocket screwdriver and this thing will come off easily like so this is available i believe it costs like ten dollars so this part the switch is available like i said mine is working fine i have never had to replace it and so you know that's one thing that i forgot to mention so we're gonna go ahead and remove this portion of the electronics okay and so you guys got to be careful with the flexible portion of it because you don't want to cause any damage to the element. Like I was saying, you don't want to cause any damage to any of the electronics. So by praying this, the screen out, you can literally remove everything out of the assembly. And the problem with mine is the speaker. The speaker no longer works properly. So um, I got another one. I don't think this will fit in here, but I wanna see what's going on. I I know that my speaker is the issue and that was the only thing that I saw. By pulling this thing out, you will release this plastic lock that holds the little speaker in place. And here's the speaker, okay? And now the box, we can see that mine it's separate that one of the terminals on the speaker i'm going to try to go ahead and correct it to see if i can actually put it all together again you know and trying to fix it and see what happened anyways thanks for watching until next time